From Utah's first television station, ABC4 Utah's News at 10 starts now. Good evening. I'm Brent Hunsaker. And I'm Kim Fisher. Thank you for joining us. You may have noticed some strong winds moving through the Wasatch this evening. Check out this video from South Jordan. You can actually see the wind blowing across the road. And after it slowed down, tree limbs were left scattered all across the intersection at Rain Street and 4000 West. Look at these guys having to pick it up. And in Taylorsville, this one's going to be even harder to pick up. A tree fell on a house. The homeowner said she was just making dinner when the wind picked up and the tree came down. All of a sudden it had this big creaking noise. And my husband always said, if you hear that creaking noise, run, because it's going to be a tree. And a tree it was. Thankfully, everyone was okay. But as you can see, that house suffered some damage. And finally, crews at the LDS Distribution Division building in Salt Lake had quite a mess to clean up after construction debris blew all over the parking lot. So what caused all these huge gusts of wind? ABC4 meteorologist Curtis Ray joins us with the answer. Curtis. Well, it was a microburst. We did have a thunderstorm approach to Salt Lake Valley earlier this evening, and while it didn't result in any rain or really much in the way of thunder or lightning, it did result in a lot of wind. Look at some of these wind gusts. West Jordan, 75 miles per hour. That's a hurricane force gust. Grassy out at Interstate 80, a 68 mile per hour gust. Ochre out there on the west side of the valley, 66, and the northwest corner of the Salt Lake Airport had a gust of 51 miles per hour. So, how does the microburst form? Well, we had a little a little bit of moisture moving into the northern part of the state. It was technically a thunderstorm, but what happens is when rainfall evaporates in very, very dry air, it forms cold, dense air that rushes down to the ground, and that formed the outflow or the winds, which gusted it up to 75 miles per hour out there in West Jordan, where you see that shade of yellow. We had gusts between 30 and 50 miles per hour, so no rain. But we did have a microburst with that thunderstorm coming through. A few storms northwest corner and even down around St. George. It still is very warm outside. 85 here in Salt Lake, 93 down in St. George. We'll have more isolated thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow ahead of a cold front that will finally bring us some much cooler air. We also have more red flag warnings. It's going to be another hot, windy, and dry day. But Friday is looking oh so fine, not only just because it's Friday, but because we have much cooler air coming in. We'll talk more about that coming up in the full pinpoint forecast.